Well, this is the new unit. We're pretty amazed with it. Um, you can see that big widescreen TV thing. It looks pretty amazing. Uh, it is a Damon Astoria uh, Pacific Edition Model 3776. So we're pretty excited about this. We've been looking for this uh, particular unit for about two and a half years. Um, so pretty amazed. Uh, if you look along the side here, you can see we've got uh, awnings over the door. Uh, this, is, this is an automatic awning. It'll come out on its own, which is kind of nice. And it's also got a wind sensor on it, so if the wind kicks up, it'll say, hey, it's time to put this thing away, and it'll take care of it for me, so I'm not up at 3 o'clock in the morning putting the awning away so it doesn't uh, get torn up. Uh, it's we got the big tires on this thing. We've got storage compartments all the way underneath here that are amazingly big storage compartments. Let me pop one of them open for you. You can see underneath that we have a lot of storage under there. We had some friends visiting yesterday and their kids said that that would be a great little playroom for them. And there's uh, one on this side and we have another on this side. And kind of matching. So I think all told we have probably 40%, uh, 50% more storage underneath here than we had in the trailer. Where How long it? is it, Mike? It's a 38 foot. It's got a 340 horsepower uh, Cummins diesel engine in it with the uh, uh, 2500 series uh, transmission, which translates means we can tow about 5,000 pounds behind this. So, turbo. And it's a turbocharged one, so it's when we go up into altitude, the uh, engine doesn't notice it. Uh, we have a lot of other items in here. Okay. It just started raining. So this is one of the uh, bays to talking about the uh, water tank. This is the main water tank, as you can see in there. And so it kind How of big is a, the water tank? We have a 100 gallon fresh water tank, a 50 gallon black water tank, and 50 gallon gray water tank. We uh, filled it up, well the people filled it up before we left Florida, and we're still got quite a bit in there, so we're pretty happy about that. If you come on down, you can see this is the first slide on this side. Um, it's got at the very top, there's some slide out toppers on it so that the water doesn't roll back up in inside the, uh, the RV when it rains like it is right now. Like I'm getting really wet. Yes. So that's pretty nice. <laughs> we also have some other equipment bays under here. This one is for the um, battery compartment. Um, these are the the house batteries, this is what runs the, uh, uh, the uh, electrical system when the engine is off and the generator is off. Now because of that, uh, that and because of what we have in here, we have a inverter inside here, up here on the ceiling. Um, okay. And what that allows us to do is have uh, electrical plugs that put out 110 volts regular stuff on a couple of places inside the tray inside the, <laughs> the motor home so that even with the generator off we're using 110 volts pretty amazing we Which like that. Which is great when we run down the road I can still have the computer on running on put on a slow volts. cooker yes indeed uh, this is the back end of the engine uh, yay an engine a big engine yes okay Pretty amazing. Um, on this side, we have our other storage compartments. Um, this one takes you into uh, some basic Boy, you really get me. stuff. Basic stuff. Basic stuff. More basic stuff. This one over here is the wet bay. Okay, keep going. And all those sort of items. So those can be taken care of fairly easily. These two right here are the other side of the uh, pass-through storage. Um, we also have, this is the, the big slide out in the, the living room area. Uh, this one here is the slide out in the bedroom. Go. This is the heart of the uh, boondocking part of the uh, motorhome. This is an 8,000 watt uh, diesel generator. Uh, it starts up and uh, provides electricity that'll run all of the, uh, the air conditioning units, the microwave, uh, all the power that we need to take care of things while we're boondocking. 
So we're really excited about that because that's going to be quite the uh, <laughs> the uh, game changer for us for going out and being out in the wild. And what's boondocking? Boondocking is being away from uh, power source, water source, sewage source, or sewage uh, dump spots, and uh, being able to go out and being out anywhere. Okay. So we're pretty excited about this unit. It's a lot of fun. Um, ride down the road is an air ride. We're excited about it. So we'll talk to you more about uh, the next stage. We're going to take you now for a quick little trip on the inside.